The content of this video is only a supplement to the instructions for use and the service manual and is therefore not mandatory. The Ease2 demand valve is a Class 2A MD device. Ease2 is a self-administering respiration device to be used for Myopa. Ease2 demand valves are reusable and replace the non-reusable kits. When the administration of gas has been completed, close the cylinder valve and push the test button to depressurize. You can now disconnect the demand valve from the quick connector. Please proceed to dismantling before cleaning. Unscrew the blue part from the demand valve. Remove the silicon valve flaps from the patient port and inhale disc. During removal, please handle the pieces with care so as not to damage these parts. If an antibacterial filter is used, cleaning is necessary once a week. Follow one of the cleaning procedures below according to preference. Either wash all parts with warm water at a maximum temperature of 60 degrees C and use an approved disinfectant. For help in choosing the correct disinfectant, contact your product supplier. Carefully dry the components and use a non-abrasive cloth. Or put the parts in an autoclave for 5 minutes at 134 degrees C or for 20 minutes at 121 degrees C. After the cycle is complete, wait until the parts are cool and check for any damage. Or use cold disinfection. For cold disinfection, it is recommended you use a formulation containing the active ingredient sodium perborate. Clean the external surfaces of the valve with a lint-free cloth, slightly moistened in soapy water. Dry with a lint-free cloth. Disinfect the outer surface with Surfanios disinfecting wipes. Place the inhale flap back on the inhale disc. Make sure the rim is placed over the inhale disc and the letters these words visible are facing up. Place the inhale disc assembly into the demand valve. Place the exhale flap into the patient port, making sure the rim is placed facing upwards. Screw the patient port onto the demand valve. Connect the probe to the source of gas. Open the bottle. Caution, do not open the flow selector. It needs to stay on zero liters per minute for setup. Unit should be checked by lightly pressing the test button. Gas should be heard flowing through the mask or mouthpiece.